Good morning, good evening, dear friend. Today's satsang, I will share with you my journey on the path of spiritual awakening. My guru, his name is Hambir Baba. He was highly enlightened master. And he was our family guru. My father was initiated by him. And my father used to do meditation. And we saw early morning, five o'clock, dad wakes up, he does his morning rituals, and he sit and meditate. And when he's in meditation, there was absolute silence. His face changes. He looks so compassionate. He looks so open. And during that period, whatever we want to have, we will ask him, Dad, can I do this? Can I? He will never say no. Because that is the period of change, transformation, and he is full of love and compassion. So whenever I want anything, I will not other day or any other time. Only when he is done with the meditation, and if I say, Dad, I want to buy a bicycle, I want to buy something, and he will never say no. He say, go ahead. That change happened in him. Then one day I asked him, Dad, <clears throat> what are you doing in the morning? That's a very wonderful thing. You are doing meditation. He said, I learned this wonderful meditation from my Guru. So then I asked him, can you teach me? He said, no, 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 no. I'm not the authority to teach you. You have to go to Hambir Baba. He is our Guru and he will guide you. To make a long story short, Hambir Baba was Guru of my father, my brother. Our whole family was initiated by him. And it is the guidance of my father. I went to see Hambir Baba. And he taught me simple technique of meditation. With his blessing, I am sharing with you. His meditation is very profound. And he taught anybody can do it. And he gave me mantra. People say, oh, don't tell your mantra to anybody. Guru giver mantra is very sacred. You are not supposed to tell. My guru is to tell me, don't worry. Tell everybody, whatever people, because this knowledge is so important. This knowledge is so profound. And people are hiding it and hiding it. No, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your working place so that people will learn this simple technique of meditation. And he was such an open flower, the blooming lotus, and he was giving the fragrance and honey to the whole world. And today, I'm going to share with his technique of meditation, which is called Soham Sadhana. Soham is a very ancient mantra. It is given in Bhagavad Gita. It is given even in um, Ramayana. There is a dialogue between Sri Ram and his Guru Vashishta. Amazing! In Yoga Vasishta, this mantra is given and this mantra came from Lord Shiva, Shiva and Parvati. One day Parvati asked Lord Shiva, you are the Mahadev, the great God, but we always see you, you are in a, sitting in a nice lotus pose and you are always doing meditation. So there must be somebody higher than you, somebody higher than noble than you. So Lord Shiva told her, look Parvati, you asked very beautiful question. I worship my Ram. Now this word Ram is very significant. Ramate sarvatra sthavara janga mesu sa Ram. Ram means awareness. Ram means pure consciousness. Roma rometi rameti iti ramaha. Roma means hair follicle. When you pull your hair follicle, you get knowledge of pain, knowledge of pulling. This is Ram. Roma Rometi Rameti Iti Ramaha. That Ram is present in your body and it gives you all sensory perception, awareness, knowledge. That's why that Ram in your heart is called Atma Ram. Atma means self. 
Atman means soul. Atman means pure awareness. And that awareness in ancient knowledge, in ancient wisdom, it has thousands of names. And these names are Ram. Ram, Shiva, Vishnu, these are all the names of your soul. Even while doing puja, we say Keshavaya Namaha, Narayanaya Namaha, Madhvaya Namaha, Govindaya Namaha. Now Keshava, Shava means dead body. That presence which keep this dead body alive, vital, vibrant. Ketayati, Chetayati, Shavam, Iti Keshavam means all these human mortal frame, one day they will die, they will go. But as long as there is that pure consciousness, pure awareness in this body, then eyes are seeing, ears are hearing, skin is touching, all Shabda Sparsha Rupa Rasa Gandha, all mental faculty, sensory faculty are alert and attentive because of one thing and that is your pure consciousness.